start off, you'll go to File, New, and in the Select Template or Example box, you'll scroll down to Template, Turret Defense, and click Open. And we'll see we start off with some code. If we go to the layout, we have a beginning layout. If we hit Run Layout, then we'll get to see the project running. couple things to improve the way this works. Uh, first, I'm going to take the layout size and I'm going to make it a little bit wider. I'm going to make it 896. By zooming out, we can see that that adds some extra space on the side. I'm going to select everything and move it over one tile. I'm going to expand this wall and this wall so that it goes all the way to the edge and this wall and this wall so that they both go all the way to the edge. Then I'm going to take the target and move it to the edge so that it's off the edge of the screen and do the same thing with the spawning point. Now to position the layout correctly, we're going to have to go to the event sheet and on system, on start of layout, we're going to have to add an action. And that action should be system scroll to position 432 0. Then when we run our layout, we'll no longer see the spawning object or the target object. Next I'm going to change my enemy object to become a balloon object. And I'm going to open up my image. And I'm going to load an image and load the red image from Game Programming Tower Defense in StuShare. And this will be the image I have for the balloon object. So now when I run it, I will have my turrets shooting at balloons. To correct the rotating balloons, go back to my layout, select the balloon object. I'm going to switch rotate object to no and diagonals to disabled. Now when I run it, the balloon should act a little bit more like balloons. Next, I'm going to change the instance variable for my balloon. I'm going to change it from health to HP, and the initial value from 30 to any number, so I'm just going to select one. Then when we run it, each shot should destroy a balloon. Now to make the balloon act more like a balloon, we're going to modify the enemy control. First thing I'm going to do is take the system on start of layout action and move it outside of the enemy control. This is really something we want to run before the level starts. So it doesn't need to be inside of enemy control. And the balloon finding its path will be handled whenever it is created. So we can delete that from the on start of layout action. Some of these commands really have to deal with the spawning of the enemies. So I'm going to create a separate group. And I'm going to call that enemy waves. I'm going to put that right above my enemy control. Then I'm going to take my spawn every enemy spawn time seconds action and move that into enemy waves. Can remove the comment. I'll collapse enemy waves so I can focus on enemy control. First thing I want is that the balloon, every time it finds a path, that it moves along its path. Right now what happens is when the bullet hits a balloon, the balloon loses one hit point, the bullet gets destroyed, 
and the bullet spawns impact particles. Now when the game gets a little bit more hectic, these impact particles can slow the game down. So I removed these, but I left the ones for when the balloon gets destroyed. Move the rest of the comments. For now, what happens is when the balloon makes it to the end, the balloon gets destroyed and it randomly chooses one turret to destroy. We can leave that for now and later we will change this to the player losing a life instead. Next, we're going to change how the balloons interact with the bullets. So when the bullet has a collision with the balloon, we will let the bullet be destroyed for now. Later, we'll have the bullets have their own health so that bullets can hit more than one balloon at a time. Then we're going to take the balloon HP less than or equal to zero and make that a sub-event of the collision. And then we're going to change this to less than or equal to one. So if a bullet hits a balloon that has one hit point or less, it's going to destroy that balloon and spawn enemy particles on the layer. And we're going to add a new sub-event for when the balloon compare instance value, the HP is greater than one. What we're going to do if the HP is greater than 1 is we're going to take the balloon and we're going to subtract 1 from HP and then we're going to set the animation frame to self dot HP. What this will allow us to do is have a different frame for each type of balloon based on the amount of hit points it has. You might be thinking, well, we'll have to have two reds at zero and one for the balloon to have that. The reason why we're doing that is that we're going to set the speed based on its frame. And if we do that based on frame zero, then a balloon with frame zero would just not move. So next we will have the balloon and we will go to pathfinding set max speed and the max speed is going to be self dot animation frame times 40 plus 40 and click done. And for this to work, we're going to have to go into our balloon and add more frames. So we're going to add a frame, add a frame, add a frame, add a fourth, and add a fifth. And I'll go to frame one, and I'm going to open red. I'm going to go to frame two, and I'm going to open blue. I'm going to go to frame three, and I'm going to open green. I'm going to go to frame four, and I'm going to open yellow. I'm going to go to frame 5 and I'm going to open purple. For now when I run the game you'll see that I have a stationary balloon because we no longer tell the one in the, the room to start moving and all the ones that spawn start off as red and then play their animation and stop at purple. To fix that I'm going to select my animation and the speed for that should be zero. It means whenever we play our level, the balloon will just stay red until it gets hit. To test the other colors, we're gonna have to start our balloons with more than one hit point. So an easy switch to test that is to select our balloon and have the initial HP set to a different number, like five, and then we'll run that and see what happens. So when they're spawning, they're spawning as a red balloon. And then whenever they get hit, they change to what they're supposed to be. To fix this, we're going to have to go up to where we spawn our balloons. We'll add the action balloon set animation frame to self.hp. 
and copy our speed command to right underneath our animation frame set to self.hp. When we run that, everything should be fine.